Good morning, Facebook. This is Michael with A Better Inspection. Uh, I've been asked by several people to uh, just talk about what I do with my lawn. Uh, up in Colorado, I had a very strong, uh, resilient lawn. It was mainly perennial rye, but we also had some Kentucky Blue mixed in. And obviously we aren't uh, able to, or we shouldn't be using those kind of grasses here in Amarillo with how dry it is. So I began researching and have decided to put in a Bermuda grass lawn uh, here at my house over in the Fox Ridge neighborhood. But you have to prepare the soil. Preparing the soil with a any seeding project you need to take the grass down as low as you could go. It's gonna hurt your lawn for a little bit. Scalping your lawn is never good for it, but to get the lawn down as low as you can so the seed can get in contact with the soil is very vital with overseeding projects. Another tip with uh, establishing a seeded lawn is uh, feeding it small amounts more often. I feed my lawns when I'm seeding every two weeks and I have a slow release uh, fertilizer, organic fertilizer that I use. I never use synthetic fertilizers as they typically always will burn your lawn if you over uh, lay uh, the fertilizer. But the most important thing is seed to ground contact. And that is why I have taken the lawn down to one inch and completely dethashed it. This way, the seed gets all the way to the soil. The seed I am using should establish itself in four to six weeks. That will take us to the end of August. And then shortly after Labor Day is when I will plant the perennial rye.